There are hundreds if not thousands of standing stones throughout Ireland. They're also known as Golans or Meniers. And this one behind me is the Punchestown Longstone, reputed to be the tallest in Ireland. There's something of a curiosity as little is known about them. Some say they functioned as prehistoric burial markers, commemorative monuments, ritual sites, indicators of routeways or territorial boundaries. Standing stones vary in date from around the Bronze Age period to the early Iron Age period, that is 3300 BC to 1200 BC. The Kilgowan Standing Stone or Longstone is situated near Kilcullen in County Kildare. The stone is one of a number of large standing stones situated on the plains of Kildare. The Kilgowan stone measures 2.5 metres in height and about a half metre wide. A cross has been carved into the face of the stone and it is said to have occurred sometime in the mid-19th century when two priests who live nearby decided to deface the stone. The unusual feature of the stone is the large mound upon which it sits. Although not classified as such, the mound is thought to be a man-made burial mound, with speculation that it may even contain a Neolithic passage tomb. In October 1986, 25 burials were uncovered during digging in the nearby quarry, including pottery and iron objects. This small portion of the site was then excavated, and the conclusion was that the graves dated to any time from the Iron Age through to the early medieval era. Due to these finds, the whole monument was put under state protection. Today, we can only wonder if the Kilgowan Standing Stone was placed on top of an ancient burial mound, and hope it can be excavated sometime in the future, revealing its long-held secret. The Punchestown Longstone in County Kildare is said to be the tallest in Ireland. It is made of local granite, is almost 7 metres tall and weighs over 9 tonnes. In the 1800s, the Viscount of Allen attempted to unearth the stone for use in the gardens of his mansion, using, it was said, 14 pairs of oxen with chains. They only succeeded in making the stone list at a 60 degree angle to which it succumbed to gravity and fell in 1931. An empty bronze cist grave, which is a stone box-like structure used for burial purposes, was found at its base. It was re-erected in 1934 by placing it back into its stone-lined socket. In 1981, a Bronze Age cist burial containing the cremated remains of four people were found about 700 metres east of the Longstone. The stone has strong roots in mythology. On a visit here once, my late father told me that the legendary Fionn Macool threw the stone from the hill of Allen 20 kilometres away. One story was that it was done as a test of strength. The other was that he threw it at his wife who was here at Punchestown. In a nearby field is another standing stone, the Craddock's Town Longstone, somewhat smaller than its sister stone, but still stands to a height of four metres and has a distinctive vein of quartz running across its width. Approximately five kilometres away is a magical Four Knots Longstone. The site is also known as the Longstone Wrath. It consists of a very large standing stone located at the centre of what looks like an earthen ring fort or wrath. However, despite its title, the wrath is not actually a ring fort but a Bronze Age ceremonial enclosure or henge. The henge is a rough circle approximately 50 to 60 metres in diameter, surrounded by a large bank. Unusually for a henge, the ditch is on the outside of the bank, which is presumably why people considered it to be a rath or fort. The stone itself is a huge granite pillar over 5 metres in height. Bronze Age burial cysts were discovered right beside the standing stone containing the burnt remains of an adult male and female along with pottery shards and beads. The site was a place of pilgrimage up until the early 20th century for local girls looking to marry. According to tradition, rags would be hung on one of the hawthorn trees that grow around the monument 
to help with finding a husband. These stones were mentioned by Gerald of Wales in his Topographica Hibernica, written in 1188 AD. Quote, in ancient times, there was in Ireland a remarkable pile of stones called the Giant's Dance, because the giants brought it from the furthest part of Africa into Ireland and set it up, partly by main strength, partly by artificial contrivances, in an extraordinary way on the plains of Kildare near Nace. And Gerald of Wales is an interesting, if not controversial figure, but we'll return to him in a later video. But it's funny to think of him as almost a trip advisor reviewer on holidays here in the 1100s. And so these long stones stand watch over green pastures and seedlings and brown fields and livestock. They have seen us mortals and even Viscounts come and go over those thousands of years and hopefully will stand for thousands more for they are well guarded with superstition which is that as long as they were still standing no bad luck would befall their custodians thank you for watching but please like and subscribe as this will encourage future productions